get to experience something different every day and no two days are the same. It's the fact that you're willing to go out and help your community in a way that, that many people um, either either won't do or, or in a lot of cases just simply can't do. Those are the best parts of being a paramedic for Jason McDonald. He's been working in this field for over 20 years, but over the years, he's seen quite the change. We've seen a major reduction in the number of people who are obtaining their license annually since 2013. And the growing concern here in Saginaw, a shortage in paramedics. The state of Michigan says the last three years it has seen a 46 percent drop in people taking the first responder exam. Here at Mobile Medical Response they're doing all that they can to appeal to potential employees. Some of the things that we've done is internally where we've been increasing wages um, every six months for the last several years. On top of that we're looking at a lot of retention strategies. Uh, we want to attract talent the best talent. We want to keep the best talent. Those retention strategies includes paid in-house training and scholarship programs. Jason says it's possible in just under two years you can be a licensed paramedic and have zero student debt, but it's availability that's the problem. That uh, lack of availability is affecting all of the providers in the state of Michigan. Not only is this a problem locally, but this is a nationwide growing concern. Jason tells us despite the shortage, there is still a growing need. We're able to continue to deploy ambulances through overtime and, and through the staff that we have today doing a lot of hard work. Um, but the demand for paramedics is not decreasing. Jason hopes more people who desire a career in health care will consider becoming a paramedic. Anyone that has that aptitude or that desire, the opportunity is here. Reporting in Saginaw, Jamie Sharon, WNEM TV5.